Welcome back, my name is Last No Meal, and today we have some Piranha Bytes news to talk about. Three days ago, we got the news that THQ Barcelona is making a Gothic 1 remake or reimagining of that game. We got the demo, we played through that, there was a lot of different opinions, if that is good or not, what this remake does well, what this remake doesn't do well. And also what I noticed in the comments is that people started asking questions about Piranha Bytes and their games. Well, as I said before, they're probably working on Elix 2. They like to make trilogies as you saw with Gothic and Risen franchise. And that new game will be announced in 2020 and it turns out to be true. Piranha Bytes just tweeted recently about Gothic 1 Remake and about their new game and this is what they said. We at Piranha Bytes are currently working high motivated with the entire team on a new RPG. At the moment we are focused on our own work because we develop RPGs with passion and we are looking forward to show you our own game. The announcement is scheduled for 2020. We are not involved in the development of Gothic Remake, the developers of the remake are THQ Nordic Barcelona. Since the studio asks for fan participation and feedback, you can check out the early prototype if you already have a PB game on your Steam. Then they also gave us a link to the teaser and for the end they said this. If you send your wishes and expectations for the gothic remake to developers so that they can take it into account, you can end up with two RPGs that you can look forward to. Of course, we will continue to announce news about our own project on our social media pages. And I am glad that they are looking forward to THQ working on Gothic. They seem to support the project, which is great. Before, when Joe Wood took the IP from Piranha Bytes and, you know, gave them to uh, Spellbound and made Arcania Gothic 4, the people at Piranha Bytes were not really talkative about it. I think the CEO of Piranha Bytes back then said if the game succeeds, it's going to be great for the IP. If it doesn't, it, you know, it doesn't, and that's pretty much it. And I don't really think there was much support for that project at that time. And it does seem that Piranha Bytes is not interested in making that remake because they are working on their own game, but they are more than happy to have a studio like that work on it, especially a studio which is willing to take the feedback from players. And this is something which is bothering me, especially in the comment section. I've seen a lot of people just saying, oh, it's shit, it's bad, why are you soft? And I do understand why you don't like this demo, but look. They gave you a demo, and at the start of that same demo, you get a message saying, give us your feedback, we want to make it better. So if you don't like it, explain why you don't like it. Don't just say it's bad or good or boring. They need feedback, so you end up with potentially two great games, Elix 2 and Gothic 1 Remake. Now going back to Piranha Bytes, it seems to me that they have Elix 2 scheduled for that time. Uh, usually when they announce a game it's about 8 to 9 months before it comes out, so if the game is announced at the start of 2020 then we can expect Elix 2 to come out maybe at the end of 2020, but uh, for that time we don't know, maybe the game is coming out in 2021. It all depends from how much time they actually need to develop it. And honestly, I am all for them taking as much time as possible to really polish the game and work on it. Because they can expand the story so much from the first game, and the first game does have a cliffhanger and spoiler alert, because I will talk about the ending. Now, the aliens that are supposedly coming to Magalan in Elix 2 are going to be the biggest threats yet. So in my opinion, after the end of the first one, I think the entire place has to work together to get the aliens out of the planet. And I can't wait to see, like, what Elix actually is as a material and the whole story behind it. They, they can expand on that story for so much, because the first game was just kind of a, a reveal of what's actually coming to Magala. There are also a number of things uh, Piranha Bytes has to work on regarding Elix 2, especially the combat and generally how quests feel like in the game. Also, boss fights in Elix 2 were kind of a disappointment for me. From, from the perspective of just how they designed the open world for that game, it was truly a good game. 
but if they fix the issues of the first game, then we can expect something that we want to see from Piranha Byte, something they released before, and all of the RPGs they, they created that we love. Again, I will report on this as more news come in the future, so don't forget to subscribe for more, and tell me down below what you expect from Elix 2 and Gothic 1 Remake. Also join our amazing community on Twitter and Discord. This is LKM signing out, and stay classy everyone, bye bye.